Thank you, Nand, for the tag, says at Hirohe. From these comments, apparently Miss Andrea isn't real. That's responding to a tweet with over 22,000 likes from this person, Shenanigans, that says, He's a 10, but no, no man is a 10. This is propaganda. Please educate yourself. Please educate. Let's take a look at the comments, and if you enjoy these types of short, entertaining segments, please consider liking and subscribing for more every day. Top comments. Hi, pro tip. This is called misandry, and misandry is bad. Let me show you why. She is a 10, but no. No woman is a 10. This is propaganda. Please educate yourself. If you think this joke is also wrong, then you should probably remove this tweet. A response from Issa reading, Misandry isn't real, and cis men don't get oppressed for being men. Hope this helps. And there's a bit more of a discussion here regarding what is misandry and how oppressed women are. I would just like to point out that the CEO of the most powerful company in the world is a woman and that our vice president in the US is also a woman. So I don't think women are oppressed, at least not in the US. Of course, in some countries around the world, women are absolutely oppressed and that's awful. However, you do often see Twitter police types acting like women are oppressed in the US, saying that the patriarchy is just oppressing all the women. In my opinion, it's just an excuse to explain why they're failing at certain things in their life as opposed to having some self-responsibility. Of course, some may try to counter my point by saying that the current VP is the first woman VP that we've ever had. However, that's completely irrelevant to my point. The fact is that she's still a VP. Anyways, let me know what you think about this topic in the comments, and heck, maybe some of you disagree with me and you think women in the US are absolutely oppressed. In which case, I'd be very eager to take a look at what you have to say about that in the comments. Once again, let me know what you think there. And as always, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the comments, of course, and also in the next segment.